Sports. We are following a developing story in San Joaquin County tonight. A man in Lathrop has been arrested for animal cruelty. ABC 10's Van Tu is following the story. She is live in the neighborhood and Van, several puppies were found there. Mm -hmm. Well, the San Joaquin Sheriff's Office says this house behind me was a puppy mill, and you may notice that this is the only residence on this busy commercial strip of East Louise Avenue. There is even a sign outside of this house posted saying that it is unsafe to occupy. Authorities say that the French and bull English Bulldogs were undergoing illegal C-section surgeries on a makeshift table in the kitchen here. Now, officers found $13,000 in cash inside and dead dogs on the property. But the silver lining here, a dozen dogs and puppies were rescued. They were found crammed into kennels. This discovery is thanks to an alert person who saw puppies running from the house and saw then two men come out with what looked like bloody gloves. She called law enforcement who quickly found that Pedro Maldonado Vittorio was being investigated for performing animal surgeries without a license. He is now booked for animal cruelty, practicing veterinary medicine without a license and transporting a controlled substance. Now some people who work next door say they would sometimes hear dogs barking, but they never Never saw anyone come in or out. You know, you some traffic in and out all day long, but you never, nobody ever stayed there. It didn't seem like it was. The yeah, lights were never on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, it seemed like a good neighborhood. And what was it two days ago? A bunch of cops came. You know, we thought it was just something to do with drugs. Now, Chris, uh, authorities say this really was a team effort from that person who called officers, the sheriff's office, the police department, and Manteca Animal Services. And Van, a lot of people are sounding off on this story on Facebook. Many want to know, will the dogs be up for adoption anytime soon? Well, at this point, the answer is no. The sheriff's office says that this is an active investigation, but if that changes, they will surely let the public know. Chris. Mm -hmm.